Hello everyone, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. In this video, we will talk about things to remember while doing database queries in ServiceNow. ServiceNow is a fantastic platform that provides various applications. However, its usefulness goes far beyond that with features and applications that help streamline processes across organizations. Today, we are focusing on one such feature, database queries, which is mostly used by ServiceNow developers. Here are the top things you should remember while working with database queries in ServiceNow. Firstly, avoid complex glide record queries. As you know, Glide record is a ServiceNow object that allows you to get, update, or delete records from your database. The methods add query and add or condition are commonly used to filter data. However, there is another method that can potentially offer more flexibility, add encoded query. You should use add encoded query rather than add query and add or condition methods while using glide record to get the data from table. This makes query easy to maintain. Let's understand this with an example. Imagine you want to retrieve records from incident table where the incident state is either new or in progress. The conventional way would be to use add query and add or condition methods like this, where you declare the new glide record object, then you do gr.add query, and you also use gr.add or condition for selecting both the states to filter both the state values. However, add encoded query method allows you to combine these two conditions in a single statement. This makes your code cleaner, easier to read and manageable. Now you can write, you can declare the glide record object and you can just use one line of code gr dot add encoded query and then you put the condition where you use state in new comma in progress. With add encoded query, you can use in operator followed by the values separated by commas. This method is especially useful when you are dealing with a large number of conditions, offering you much cleaner and efficient way to write your queries. Next thing to remember while doing database queries in ServiceNow is to use glide aggregate for record counting. Counting of records is also a common task while doing development and service now. If you need to count rows from the data returned in a query, then you can use two options. One is get row count method, which is used with glide record. And another is glide aggregate API. Counting rows with glide record might seem like a straightforward operation but it can actually lead to performance and scalability issues over time as your tables expand. And glide record retrieves every record with the query and then counts them. Well, instead of retrieving all records and then performing operations like glide record does, glide aggregate performs operations at database level and only returns the result. That means it does not suffer from scalability issues that can slow down glide record as your tables grow larger. In conclusion, glide aggregate is an incredibly useful tool for efficient database operations in ServiceNow. It's quick, it's efficient, and it scales well as your database data grows. Next is avoid complex queries on large data sets. As your ServiceNow instance grows, frequent searches on large tables can slow things down and affect performance. Let's consider a practical scenario. Let's say you need to fetch all the upstream and downstream services related to a CI selected on incident. 
in this case you will perform a query on cmdb relationship table and performing a query on relationship table seems straightforward with a small cmdb consisting of a few hundred or thousand configuration items but imagine a cmdb with millions of ci and 100000 of relationships that query could take hours and it's simply not practical so how can we improve this here is a clever workaround instead of launching a time consuming search every time why not create a related list for the ci selected on the form that displays affected services you can automatically update this list using a business rule. Each time the CI relationships are modified, affected services will be updated. Now, when a CI is added to an incident, the list of affected services can be retrieved quickly from CI's related list. No more extensive searches on the relationship table which saves your time and keeps your system running smoothly. Last not the least, limit the records while doing query. When working with ServiceNow, we often retrieve data from the database using Glide record. But what happens when the database is huge? We don't want to pull every record, especially when we only need a few. This is where set limit method comes to the rescue. The set limit method allows us to limit the number of rows that a glide record query returns. This is incredibly beneficial for larger tables where you want to avoid retrieving a huge amount of data. Here is a simple example. Let's say we have a table of incidents and we want to retrieve only first five incidents that are in open state. We set up our glide record as usual adding our add query condition then before executing the query we add the line gr dot set limit and we put the number five because we only need first five records this line ensures that only the first five records that meet our conditions are returned and this is the whole script you do add query you do dot uh, gr dot set limit then you do dot query gr dot query and you run the loop and whatever action you want to take you can take on those five records that's the power of set limit method in service now always remember optimizing your database interactions is a key to maintaining a healthy and efficient service now instance if you found this video helpful please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your colleagues got any questions or suggestions feel free to drop them in the comments until next time keep coding keep learning have a great day